Hello everyone, welcome to Soraya Butchered Lions YouTube channel. We have updates on our ETH grinding teams. I have personally paid a price. Um, I'll get into that in a minute. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you follow me on Twitter, and make sure you follow me on Soraya. That's all I ask of you, and I hope I offer some value to everyone. Uh, long story short, last episode, we're after a man called Vitali Damasca. Doesn't play for um, his club. Like, well, he does play for his club, um, but just not obviously what Sarah basically do. Again, I've got a cup of tea and a slice of cake. I haven't stopped working. It's going cold. Cost of energy crisis. I'm sort of just trying to get used to not having the heating on. I'm going to have my woolly hat on in probably the coming videos. And this is to keep my hands warm while I'm doing these videos. So this might become more uh, accustomed to as well. Also, this probably would have helped my cost of uh, energy and living and the pound falling, which is on from England. So that's a disaster as well. I have missed out on... Again, he scored. Well, how much did he score? 63 points, that bloke. He might have hit me. I'll tell you what, it would have been close. Basically, I was too busy again because I've got so much shite to sort in my, life, in my life at the moment with work and everything. I left Quinton Merlin in, and on the evening of me doing that video, I got a bargain. I got Vitale Damascan. I woke up in the morning to that being approved and I needed to put him in the side. And he did the job. He got 63 points. Who's that? He got 63 points. And what uh, XP bonus did he have on him? This is high. And it's only 1%. Okay, that makes it easier to read anyway. So if we add 63 points onto this... Which, again, it's a shock DMP from Kamakov. I don't know why he didn't play. I don't quite understand that. But we would have smashed the 250 points. Basically, we would have definitely hit the 205 points for 23.24 uh, pound sterling. Again, luckily, that's locked to USD. Uh, USD. Again, how many currencies are we going to have in this world? That's locked to the dollar, which is $50. So luckily, my pound increase is in pricing because my pound is falling off a fucking cliff. Or am I being wrong there? Is the pound going down? I don't know. I might just start working in ETH in everything I do now. I just, I just like it more. I'm pissed off with the government. I'm pissed off with people controlling the monetary policies. ETH is ETH. It is what it is. No one can piss about with it. Well, they can, but they don't seem to. On brighter news, we hit the reward last week, which was just unreal. Can't remember if that video had it. Was that me being excited? Uh, oh, we were in. We were in motion, weren't we? So at the time, these two were playing, and it was two all, and I was really pissed off. And then it became free free, and Selleck got an assist, and he's my captain. So we hit the whole amount of ETH. Come on. We've got actually a fair bit of updating to do because game week 307 is that one where we hit the full amount and we would have hit... Would we have hit it? 42 off that. Yeah, we would have hit the 205 without the keeper as well. So that's a great update to this. And then 308, I need you to comment down below, yes or no, and then you think, oh, shit, have I put, even put training teams in? I'll do it, put training teams in. Oh, no, wait. In the last live one. No. Oh, my God. This shows my brain is just being overwhelmed with stuff. I haven't been able to cope with my Sarah journey. Again, a hit fucking point here as well. How many more did I need for a prize? 80. I got 217. I would have 100% got a reward as well here if he played. And again, it's down to my mismanagement and not checking if players are playing or not. I don't know why Pavlovich didn't play. And I would have hit a reward in under 23 if he did. 
I would have hit my Ethan this if I played my new striker. So I need you to leave in the comments below if I should include in my spreadsheet points with my new striker in or leave it without because it's technically the series and what I'm trying to do, if you're actually alert, unlike me, we would have hit uh, the smaller E threshold here with the striker that I bought in at the time. If I didn't get him in at the time, I wouldn't have included this, but he came in overnight and I had till Friday, 11 o'clock in the morning to put him in and just didn't because I was so busy with work. So, question is, I think it should go in there. It should go in with our readings and it should uh, benefit on our profit, even though we didn't actually hit it. It doesn't matter to me. Well, it does matter. I'd love that money. But in the grand scheme of things, this series is for everyone to prove that you can make money um, with a small budget. I mean, in com it's not a small budget. We've spent a fair amount. Without a goalkeeper, we've spent... 1,900, but we've got a lot of players. Technically, if we were going on to the player record and I wanted two defenders, uh, two cheap defenders, which we've got Fatinho, say, for Burnley, who's 80 quid, and Chatsiakos, who's now worth 200 quid, but he's only 818, that's 200. We could have had Demi by 85, and then Fitz, and we've got him. So for 500 quid, without a goalkeeper, we could probably be hitting um, these sort of numbers, which is return from grinding 86 quid. That would have been a nearly 20% return on investment with just them players alone. And they've gone up in price. So we have to sell them all now. We would make money as well. So that's the whole point of this series. And again, I'd love your comments. Um, I probably should include that. i just like your comments on that and your comments if you're finding this useful. Again, if you've got any more bargains, we've battered ourselves through a international week which is always boring God, they peg that to usd that's no isn't it they didn't used to do that they're really trying to get away from ETH. maybe anyway let's open this ETH. let's get excited here where is it give it me oh and it's 0 0.038 that is a big amount, isn't it? Copy and paste that and slap it in. And that would be in the with goalkeeper, uh, which is here. So double tap on that, paste them in. Uh, without goalkeeper, it would be half of that. So it would be 0 0.019, if my maths is correct. What are you doing? Oh, no, that's money. Oh, Jesus. Uh, here. 0 0.019. What's this? Oh, no, we hit the whole threshold that time, isn't it? Well, it shows you how ETH bounces around in price. We've got 0 0.019 there. We've got 0 0.0159 there. So, our updated... I'm pretty sure that... Yeah, that has updated now. Uh... In ETH terms, I haven't updated the thingy terms. We're at 8.10%, and that is without. I'm going to put that in now, actually. The 0 0.09, no, 0 0.019, we would have hit here. We wouldn't have hit anything with the goalkeeper, but with that, we are now at 8.9% ETH return on investment. Cheers to that, because that is all within oh. one, two, three, four, five. Well, I just need to count from 300 because we started on game 300, which is beneficial to 308. That's in eight game weeks. We've made basically a 9% returns. I will take it. It's. I think that's great going. Is that good going down below? Can, has anyone else done better? Um... And we've got a sheer amount of cards. Like, we probably <laughs> need to start shifting some of them to make some profits on that front. But also, the whole point is just to keep ETH grinding, so we need these players to do it. 
Uh, question is, yeah, again, this has changed. I haven't really seen that before. Um, let's see the prize ball. Have they swapped this around? Yeah, they've swapped this. No, that always was like that. Um, can we get a team out this way? I don't think anyone's got a game. I think it's like the, it's, it's, we're just waiting for the weekend to come along. So we can use this for analytics. Probably, I've got another 15 minutes here. I might do a little analytics on where we're at with players. Um, so we're just going to scroll down this list and see where we're at. We're also going to run over some comments, which I need to keep up on. Uh, so we will go from... How do I know which ones have and haven't been answered? I know that I can go onto YouTube Studio. I don't know if that exposes me to anything that people shouldn't be seeing in the background, but I don't think it does. And go latest comments. And oh, this is how I basically reply. Uh, oh, God, I am behind. Oh, no, these are from the gallery mincers. We need to go from here, here onwards. So we've got a nice bit of spam. We've got some nice adult porn. <laughs> which we'll like and love from uh, some great bots. And we'll hold up from here and we'll make this really quick, snappy. Another suggestion for the week is Roderick Abecchio. Udinese uh, is overperforming in Italy and he is doing really well. Good for 200 quid. And you still don't have Patrick, the star for Lazio. Let's see how he's getting on. Again, I was focused on obviously international players and it was what a successful international effort that was oh, we got clearance off the line yeah he's doing very well for himself the boss obviously likes him because he would have dropped him by now and he's still cheap obviously plays at midweek as well might do that on my little look and see if we can sell someone and get him in for cheaper as a bit of a bit of a change up uh great again i'm going to run back to these i won't comment myself i'll comment in my own time and not run for you for it hey man just picked up some fresh old players um pinto how did he do for luxembourg he got 0 0.066 at that time uh Again, how are you all finding Sir at the moment? I'm I'm personally loving it again, just because I'm so less exposed and I'm actually like recording how I'm earning money. Uh, I think it's so beneficial. He's gone down in price and he had two good games for his international. So he is someone I might also sell on one of the defenders and pick him up. Um, just in an international sense, he's only 28. So looks a great player. Ken, you only need to hit the Ethel uh, threshold with him a few times to pay his money back. Sorry, a bit of um, chocolate cake to keep me going as well. Um, Georgia lad, he's been starting striker. That's very interesting. I mean, he's probably a midfielder, I'm guessing, in here. So, did we follow this lad? Yeah, we got from a while back. Um, didn't play. Bad score, midfielder, Georgian, maybe he's injured. He is very cheap. But to follow, if he's an international low-class player like that, um, I'm certainly interested. We will be having a quick look on him on here. Let's see his scores. Hmm. Hmm. There was a sub as well, so we didn't even make it into Georgia's team. One thing I will outline, which had just, just popped up into my head. You know we're after this lad, and I flew it through in a load of low ball. These were low, low ball. He was up for like 42 on most of the um, current, my currency prices. Um, instantly rejected, rejected. We tried to get the deal done. And then again, overnight, the lad C3 for a rare striker. I mean, I know he doesn't play for his actual side, like actual club side in Sarare because they're not licensed. They could just become licensed and he could be like a 250 quid player. It's so non-risk. It's unbelievable. He's also an under 23. If I put him in my under 23 side over the pissing Pavlovich who didn't play, 
scored 63 points. He literally would have paid for himself. If Kamakura, he would have paid off and more in my what I would have earned off him. It's nuts. The, this research is what I just enjoy, and I'm I'm guessing what everyone else in Serrera enjoys. They have a risk, but picked up Zegra. Nine twenty three right wing for he plays for Kosovo. Let's see if he played for Kosovo because he's definitely one to add. Uh, else, no, but he has scored well. Did he get in? He might not have even got in a team. Again, fairly cheap for a midfielder. And he's certainly of interest. He's injured, so that's why he hasn't played. Some great scores. He would have played for Kosovo, Kosovo I reckon, if he wasn't injured. He's played for Lille consistently. And, yeah, I mean, he was a starting player, basically, wasn't he? And they've struggled without him, those players. So, he's certainly someone I will be following. That is a great, great shout from Joel. Fair play to you, sir. So I could be dead tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm alive. Actually, that's an update. My leg is fixed. I'm still bruised and still knackered. I got absolutely hammered on Saturday. Um, and was dancing till 12 o'clock. Woke up on Sunday with it all swollen. But spent Sunday doing naffle. Um, and it's recovered again. So, yeah, I'm alive. I'm fighting fit. Um, I can't heat my house. No, I can. But I'm just <laughs> choosing not to. Because I'm probably going to try and buy a Bitcoin. Uh, <laughs> love the vids. And considering starting an ETH grinder. Any shouts on the best value goalkeeper? Aiming to pick up a full team for under a grand. Uh, well... Not at the top of my head, but, but, but it's not loading. It did dare not give me the basics. My internet just must be slow. I think that's what it is. Uh, a goalkeeper, you filter it there and you'll get a list here. And then you want to click it by rare value. Um, like so. And then just scroll down. Like you want a 100% starter, basically. And that's how you look for the cheapest goalkeeper so in for instance here and then i just scrolled down like so look for 100 percent played and maybe go for him i mean you've got to factor in he's 38 so you probably want to spend a bit more you need to factor in the league what other leagues you're buying the players in he is a 100 percent star and he sounds like he is english you've got to just double check that the other keepers are not just injured and going to come back. And obviously he's Russian, so fuck the Russians. Um, but he looks cheap if you know he's going to start all the time. That's how you search for a cheap goalkeeper. My goalkeeper at the time, again, I'm going to, we're going to probably do a little review at the end of this video. It was 0 0.94. Um... Obviously, he's helped me win rewards this week and every midweek. So he, for me, is worth the 300 with more I paid for a decent keeper. He also scores well, which is quite hard for a keeper. You know, he plays for a decent side in his uh, league. So where is he? Where is he? Anthony Morris, that's the man. See, he just plays every single game at all times. Um, he's worth everything to me. He is now a bit more in ETH, but about the same price in monetary terms uh, in my currency. 1,339, 1,000. He's actually just a tiny bit more. You can probably pick him up the same monetary wise as what I picked him up for, but so valuable. I mean, look, actually, yeah, here's the analytics. This is how much I've won with a goalkeeper. And this is how much I've won without a goalkeeper. Um, literally double the amount. So it just shows you if you can spend that on a goalkeeper, it, it really means a lot. Um, what else have we got? We've got Hassan is not a starter. Is the substitute for Lazari. 
Zoro is injured and for 37 quid one threshold and you paid for Zoro back after that. Oh, this after that, even cheaper this time. Played last two and 37, he's not the star. Yeah, so there we are. So, like, go and pick up some cheaps, like, and if you get an injury. Like, Selic, Zeki Selic was the one I picked up. Mad, this is mad as well. Can't remember what I picked him up, but we'll have to look in a minute. And he instantly jumped in price, and it's because, so he's 133 quid now. Zeki Selic. We got him for 94. Instantly, his cover. I looked up why he jumped in price so quickly. His cover player, who was like rotating with him really at Roma, is injured with a knee, bad knee problem. So he's instantly going to be starting every single game, midweek international and thingy. So I actually really need to stack off some of my, my other um, defenders because this man will probably do all the jobs for me. Uh, I got him at such a cheap price. It was just a great chance at the time. And that was due to these comments. So you're all fucking legends. Make sure you subscribe to me. I will be giving back. I will probably try and go a week without energy in my house to give away about 25 quid or one of the thresholds. Uh, so make sure you follow me. Get matters soon. Cheers, Mohammed. I am better. I'm feeling okay, mate. Roski is a great pick. Had him since starting this season. He's guaranteed to start with a top league. Genk even scored 35. That's yeah, good. And also can vouch for someone else commented. Got two comments of one bloke there, so that must be high praise. Don't know what this bloke is. He's another defender. Great for other people, but I literally need to stop. Oh, I have seen this bloke before, actually. I don't think he played for his uh, Slovakia. Oh, he played that game. Might have come on. Yeah, no, he looks really good, to be fair. 30 years old. Really cheap, good AA scores, a great shout uh, that is. And then what was the other man? Uh, yeah, we'll look at him on Serrera and not Serrera data. Oh, the Lazio bloke. Oh, he plays for me in a shocker mind. Jesus, that's bad. But he usually plays well. He is also a defender. Um, so, yeah, I would leave that for you guys to decide. I need to ban myself from buying defenders, but they are such good value. That's why I do it. Sillison plays for Netherlands. Yeah, uh, probably a good keeper to pick up. I know they didn't start in one of the games, but they're still probably debating who's going in. Great content. Where can I find the WhatsApp drink? I'll leave the WhatsApp drink in the description of maybe this video, even though I'm a bit short on time. I'll leave it in the comments otherwise. Um, Grand, great chat. Um, so it's useful, that is. Becchio is your man for defender. Lazaro for mid. Lazaro make you 100% profit. God, that's some praise for the man. And these players, they're so rogue. Like, oh, he's not the... Is that the other bloke who said he's not the starter? Oh, shit, he's injured. A hamstring injury. Probably a good time to buy him if he is a proper starter. And again, don't have a lot of time, so this is always an efficient way to look. You just look here, right? It started, 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 started. Missed two. Oh, yeah, missed two Italy games. Must have made it on the bench. Start, 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 start. <laughs> He's a hundred percent starter. What you do have to be careful of is when they win four 0 and the replacement plays well, which is probably him. Um. If he starts playing really well, will Lazari make it back in the squad? The 28-year-old, yes, he will. I, I'm sorry if you already have him and he's got a hamstring injury, but crikey, that might have that might be a really good purchase because I'm guessing his price has gone down a lot. Oh, it was even down even further, and I don't have. How big a price scrap have we got now? Three months. Is it going to give me that? No, it's got a month, which might actually just be enough. Yeah, so he's been going for like 140 quid, and now he's going for 100. So that hamstring injury has probably helped you if you want to go and buy him. Um, another porn site, which is great. Yeah, we are printing money. We're making dollar. Sell it did perform for you. Froobs are elite. Yeah, 100%. That Froob shout. 
um, if you haven't had a frozen troop, and again, yeah, we used to stamp on them, and uh, it used to ruin someone's day. It was great. Frozen fruits are amazing. Recently bought seminar. Where's my copy button gone? He's a defender, I know, but very cheap, and he was injured at the beginning of the season. But he can some decent threshold score when he plays. So a little look at him. And again, I might start buying these players even if they are defenders, and uh, just flip them. Not actually... Oh, shit, sh that was a good shout. Hmm, I wish he put up a lower score here, because, yeah, when he plays... Now that... That is a good flipper, if we can get it at a really cheap price, which someone just has. Oh, that is cheap. Now that's that's a great shell. Here we go. We're in full full mode of like that's too cheap. That's really too cheap. If it's he puts another score up like that, we can easily make ten or fifteen quid. Uh again, why isn't it giving me my E? Give me my E! My last threshold will literally pay for the bloke. Oof. Again, I've been on this for quite a long time. I'm not. I'm going to do some deals, and I'm going to do it deal before I send this out. But because he might go up about a few quid, but a great shout! Hats off to you, Michael. I might start giving people a percentage of the money I make if I sell them on. Whoever recommended them, that'd be a great shout, wouldn't it? Uh, let's just look at you. Got more of a. Has he got more of a detail? Yeah, he just put some nice scores, and that spell there. What was his injury all about? Crikey, you could have picked him up for like. He went for an auction for about twenty-eight quid. Get a guide into my follow list. He's only twenty-five. You cannot have a rare card for fifty quid who's going to hit you them sort of scores because you can just make that money back in one threshold. It's nuts. It's absolutely nuts. 29 quid, 26 quid. And then in two days ago, 55. So you can get one for cheaper. And I know that, yes, XP is probably big, and especially at our level when we're trying to hit the thresholds. But uh, if you can save five or 10 quid, that's like 10 or 20% of a threshold. So you can train him up and get him better. That is one thing we cannot to do, because I will put my training teams in. I'm going to confirm all of them that are already there and add a team and see if there's any other loose cannons that aren't in there. Oh my god, there is a there is some midweek games. This is good news actually that I've got some um Oh no. Why didn't it show up? Do I have no other midfielders playing? Give me him. And let me put him in as well. Uh, let me put another one in. Uh, we will run over... No, actually, I'm going to save that for another date now. What we're going to do is... Yeah, put him in. You've got to, If you put players in, it'll play, even if they're commons. I think you get more of a, uh, a boost for your rares that you put in. So that's what we're going to do there. Uh, all of those are now being made for the midweek. I'm going to try and buy that bloke. I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to have a nice episode next time. Again, probably before the mid uh, the weekend fixtures, which thank God North was back, uh, we will outline where all these players' prices are currently. I'm going to carry on smashing that E. So please like this video, put it on Twitter, put it on YouTube. We move. Have a great week. See you later.